Um, let's go now to um, Holy Sister. Uh, the story is completely different, but again, the ballad comes from Sweden. So it is a Swedish ballad, <coughs> and, um, and so from Sweden to, um, to Scotland and England. Uh, we, we shall listen to the Swedish version as well, that I have found there in the in internet. So you, you can compare the Swedish version to the, uh, to the Scottish one. Now let me tell you what happened in the to a Swistera, which is, uh, sorry, which is the, um, <coughs> the Scandinavian version. Now let me tell you the original one from Sweden and Norway, and then we, sh we can compare it to the, uh, to the Scottish one. This is the story. Are you ready for the story? Yes. Yes. It's a beautiful story. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a king. Typical, isn't it? <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a king. The king had two daughters. One was black as coal. And the other one was blonde and beautiful as the sun is. Who is the cruel sister? <laughs> Difficult question. Yes. Right. So, uh, the black-haired one was 17 years old. And the blonde was 16. A very good age for getting married. Mm -hmm. So, in old times, uh, you would be married already. Remember? And probably with children. Right? So, see how lucky you are that you were, you were born in this period and not a long time ago. You see? Anyway, the two daughters in our story are playing with the ball <coughs> in the garden. A sort of medieval volleyball. Pass me the ball, take me the ball, pass me the ball, take the ball, yes, you know. Playing with the ball in the garden, very happy. These two sisters are very happy. Either they play, they love one another, and the king is looking outside the window. Oh, my two daughters, they're playing with the ball. They're very happy. I'm very happy too. So in this story, apparently, everything is so beautiful. Everything is so merry. Everybody's happy. Of course, something happens. This is not the end of the story. The following day, the two sisters are again playing with the ball. That's with the ball. With the ball. <laughs> And a knight, un cavaliere, was passing by on his white horse. Keep your in it. On a white horse. This knight, riding on his horse, is looking for a rich girl to marry. Very typical, too. <laughs> and he sees the king's daughters. Ah, and the king's daughters. Very interesting. Very rich. He looks at the two sisters, and he likes uh, the blonde. He prefers the blonde. So he goes to the king, and he proposes, uh, he says, Well, my dear king, I would like to marry your blonde daughter. The king answers, No, you can't, because the blonde is 16, and the black-haired one is 17. So you must marry the elder one if you want to marry one of my daughters. This was the law, la legge, before number one and then number two. <laughs> then I thought, okay, I'll marry the elder one and then <laughs> I see what I can do with the other one. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to the black head with the ring and a glove. Here, my dear, I promise to marry you with this ring. While he was giving the ring, he was looking at the other one, at the blonde. And the blonde was looking at him. And the black-haired sister was not happy. Oh, on the contrary, she was very jealous. And so, after some time, the king said, My dear daughters, I have to go away for seven days on a ship. After seven days, I will come back on my ship. After seven days, the black-haired sister said to the blonde, My dear sister, let's go to the cliffs. Our father is coming back on a ship. We go to the cliffs 
and we wave hello to our father. Oh, what a good idea, what a good idea. <laughs> yes, it's a very good idea. <laughs> come, little sister, come with me, hand in hand. And hand in hand, they went to the cliffs. There, the black-haired sister said to the blonde, my dear sister, if you go to the edge of the cliff, our father can see you better. You go to the edge and you wave hello to our father. Oh, what a good idea. Yes, it's a very good idea. And so the blonde went to the, to the edge of the cliff and she began to wave hello to, to, the, to the ship that was very far away. So she began to wave and while she was waving, the other one pushed her. The blonde fell into the water, into the sea, the big splash, you know. But she was not dead. She said, oh sister, take my hand, save my life. I promise the night, the cavaliere, will be yours. So don't worry about that. If you die there, I am double sure that the night will be mine. And so the poor girl drowned it and bloop, 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 died. She died, she drowned it and died. Now the blonde is dead. So imagine with the third eye of your mind, with your fantasy, try to see the body floating in the water, the dead body floating in the water. Then two minstrels, menestrelli, saw the body in the water. Look, there is a body over there. Yeah, what can we do about it? Let's take the body out. It was speaking Scottish, Scottish you know? yeah. So let's take the body out. Let's take the body out. And so they, they took the body out, out and they laid the body on the grass. What a pity. Such a, such a bonny lassie. And she's dead. Such a, such a beautiful girl. And she's dead. Scottish bonny lassie. Bonny, beautiful, lassie girl. So what, what a beautiful bonny lassie. And she's dead. What can we do about it? And then, idea. Look what beautiful bones she's got. Yeah, she, she really has beautiful bones. You, mean, you understand bones? Yes. Awesome. awesome. She's got beautiful bones. Yeah, so what? I have an idea. Tell me, why don't we make a harp with the bones? You're right. She's got beautiful bones. Let's make a harp with her bones. Yeah. Let's, let's start working. So they began to smash the body. They smashed the body and they took the bones from the breast here. So they took the bones from the breast and they made the frame of the harp. What about strings? Strings. We need strings. Look what beautiful curls, literally, what beautiful curls she's got. Yes, let's cut three curls from her hair. And let's make three strings. So they put the three strings on the harp, and the harp had a beautiful sound. The most beautiful sound ever heard on earth. Only three strings. <clears throat> Why only three? Because three is the magic number. <laughs> exactly. That's why the mobile phone company chose three as the magic number. Because in popular tradition, three is the magic number. Right? So when there is number three, you expect something magic in popular tradition. So now you have number three and you expect something magic. The king is back. What is my blonde daughter? And the other one, oh father, what a terrible accident. You know, we went to the cliffs to wave a love to you and I said to my sister, it's very windy today. Don't go to the edge, it's very dangerous. Ah, you know, my sister, love for you, father, the love for you. She went to the edge to wave hello to you, and uh, the wind was very strong, as I said before, and the wind pushed her. I tried to give her my hand, too late, too late, father. She died, she drowned it in the sea. What a terrible accident. The, the killer is the wind. And so, nobody was there, the wind killed her, you know. Then she said, my sister's gone, 
What a pity, what a pity. What about my marriage? And the king said, well, he was very unhappy, of course, for that. But he said, okay, let's organize your wedding, your marriage. <laughs> On the day of the marriage, the king invited everybody. He also invited the two minstrels. The two minstrels went to the wedding with the harp. But as soon as they put the harp upon a stone, the harp began to play and sing alone. The first ring said, My sister took me to the cliffs. Second, there she pushed me. I fell into the water and I died. Third, the two minstrels you see here made the harp you are listening to right now. Now everybody knows. The cruel sister is trembling. Everybody knows. And they are pointing at her. So you killed your sister. But while everybody was pointing at her, the harp broke into pieces and the blonde girl came alive again. Oh. <laughs> magic. Miracle. Magic. magic. The knight. Oh my love, you are back. It's you I want to marry. The end of the story. The knight will marry the blonde. And the cruel sister is burnt alive as a punishment for the crime. Happy end. <laughs> right. In the Scottish version, we don't have the end of the story. And we don't have the beginning of the story that we have in Sweden. Because in Sweden, we have the original one. So... In the passage from Sweden to, uh, to Scotland, we lose some of the, uh, of the episodes. We recognize the story, but the story is not complete. Okay, now let's see 